I was sitting with my friend Arthur Kornblum in a restaurant. It was a Horn and Dalet cafeteria. And this beautiful girl walked in, and I turned to Arthur, and I said, Arthur, you see that girl? I'm going to marry her. And two weeks later, we were married. And it's over 50 years later, and we are still married. We fell in love in high school. Yeah, we were, we were high school sweethearts. But then after our junior year, his parents moved away. But I never forgot her. You never forgot me. <laughs> no, her, her face was burned on my brain. And it was 34 years later that I was walking down Broadway, and I saw her come out of Tafanetti's. And we both looked at each other, and it was just as though not a single day had gone by. She was just as beautiful as she was at 16. He was just the same. He looked exactly the same. We were married 40 years ago. We were married three years, we got a divorce. Then I married Marjorie. But first you lived with Barbara. You're right, Barbara. But I didn't marry Barbara, I married Marjorie. Then you got a divorce. Right, then I married Katie. Another divorce. Then, a couple of years later, at Eddie Colicchio's funeral, I ran into her. I was with some girl I don't even remember. Roberta. Right, Roberta. But I couldn't take my eyes off you. I remember I snuck over to her and I said, what did I say? You said, what are you doing after? Right. So I ditched Roberta, we go for coffee, a month later we're married. Thirty-five years today after our first marriage. We were both born in the same in hospital. 1921. Seven days apart. In the same hospital. We both grew up we one both block lived away in from tenements. each other. On the Lower East Side. On Delancey Street. My family moved to the Bronx he when I was 10. lived on Fordham Road. Hers moved when she was I 11. I lived on 183rd Street. For six years, she worked on the 15th floor. I worked floor for a very prominent as a neurologist. Nurse, where I Dr. had a Bemelman. practice on the 14th floor, the very same we building. We never met. Never met. Can you imagine that? Do you know where we met? In an elevator. I was visiting family. In the Ambassador Hotel in Chicago, He was Illinois. on the third floor. I was on the 12th. I rode up nine extra floors just to keep talking to her. Nine extra floors. Well, he was a head counselor at the boys' camp, and I was a head counselor at the girls' camp. And they had a social one night, and he walked across the room. I thought he was coming to talk to my friend Maxine, because people were always crossing rooms to talk to Maxine. But he was coming to talk to me. And he said, I'm Ben Small of the Coney Island Smalls. At that moment, I knew. I knew the way you know about a good melon. A man came to me and said, I found a nice girl for you. She lives in the next village. And she is ready for marriage. We were not supposed to meet until the wedding. But I wanted to make sure. So I sneaked into her village, hid behind a tree, watch her washing the clothes. I think if I don't like the way she looks, I don't marry her. But she looked really nice to me. So I said, OK to the man. We get married. We married for 55 years. The first time we met, we hated each other. No, you didn't hate me. I hated you. The second time we met, you didn't even remember me. I did, too. I remembered you. The third time we met, we became friends. We were friends for a long time. And then we weren't. And then we fell in love. Three months later, we got married. And it only took three months. Twelve years and three months. We had this we had a really wonderful wedding. It was a, it really was a it was beautiful great. We wedding. had this enormous uh, coconut cake. A huge coconut cake with the, with the tears, and there was this, was this very rich chocolate sauce on the side. Right, because not everybody likes it on the cake because it makes it very soggy. It's particularly the coconut soaks up a lot of that stuff, so you really it's important to keep it on the side. Right. 